Good morning. My name is Lisa Williams. I'm with Diamond Law Entertainment, and I'm out of the Charleston, South Carolina area. I'd like to thank DME TV for having me today. And let's get with it. We're going to do some things and talk about the indie artists. How are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I'm great. Another day. <laughs> I'm here. You here? Yeah. Yeah, nice weather outside today, so that's good. That's a plus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So today we have Miss Lisa Gonzalez-Williams, mm -hmm. CEO of Diamond Law ENT. Yes. Okay. So let's start off. How and where do you get started in the music business? Oh, boy. I actually am a chef by trade. Okay. I'm a veteran as well. So when I got out of the military after they sent me to chef school, I got into the food and bev game. Bartending was my niche. So when I went to bartending... And I started running the nightclubs, you know, being in nightclubs, running the nightclubs. There was this one club I worked at called Keller Majoros in Charleston, South Carolina. And we used to have industry nights. And it was called Chucktown Underground by Ben Flowers. He was a barber. He came up with that. And what it did was it gave the limelight to, you know, the indie artists. So I see some guys in there and they were hot. So we had a lot of concerts. When we had a lot of concerts... The ones that won the, the indie artist contest, I would call them up and be like, hey, you got two hours to get up here. They don't have no opening artists. It's you. So they run up there. They'd be ready. Back then, we had that machines. So you can tell how long ago. That was. <laughs> right, we had right. that machines. But they would come up there and do their thing. So when they would do their thing, you know, it worked out. I've even had um, Slick Rick come behind the bar and, and actually hear one of my bartenders spit. Okay. So, you know, it's just like when they're in there, I, 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 you're hound. That must <laughs> so, have been dope. It's yeah, like so that was back in like 99. So that's when I started. And uh, there was a young man named, we used to call him Binky back in the day. That's how I actually started working with artists. I started working with him. And the irony is I work with his son now. Wow. How crazy is that's, that, right? That's crazy. Yeah, but dad still got skills, though. Dad it, got them skills. If, if I go in there and I tell him ABC, he'll drop me 16 bars off the top of his head. Just like that. That's dope. That's yeah. dope. So let's let's talk about um, Diamond Law ENT. Um, and, and kind of let's elaborate on like how can you help indie artists, independent okay. artists? Well, I, I'm kind of bougie and I call it Diamond Law Entertainment. Okay. I don't do the ENT. Okay. Um, it's an LLC as well, like Limited Liability Corporation. How I help artists is I do artist development. And a lot of people don't do that. So what I do is I take a, a, a coal and turn it into a diamond, okay? And how that works is, you know, I teach them how to navigate through the game. I teach them stage presence. I teach them everything that they need to know in order to be that gem when they go out there into the industry so that when people are looking, you know, I don't necessarily have to start calling the industry. They start calling me because they're like, hey, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? So, and I learned that on my own. So the, all, of the, all I know about the industry um, I've learned it through, you know, various different people as well. But what I'm saying is I didn't go to like school for it or anything like that. I literally got the books, started educating self, started asking the questions and things like that. What are some of the most common things that you find that any artists lack? <sighs> Professionalism. Um, they don't want to hear from somebody else, especially the older women. Um, they 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 want to jump in the middle of the game without knowing the beginning and the basics. So a lot of times they're very, very talented, but this stuff might not be uh, copywritten. Simple stuff like that, like it might be it might not be copywritten, it might not be registered with BMI. They may be doing great work, but they're not getting spin ratio for it. They're not getting the money back that they should get. You know, in other words, they're kicking out a lot of money, right. but they're not getting anything back. And you should be able to to, you know, reap off of your benefits from, from what you put out. Right. So that that's quite a few of the things I see. Okay. Let's let's talk about some of your accomplishments, past and present. What's, what's some things you're proud of that you can put out there? I'm proud of doing my roundtables, which is educating the artists um, in, the, in the music game. I'm proud of my artist that I have now, Chubb Raps. He went from the happy guy rapper to in a dark place, got with me, we worked as a team diligently. Right. 
and brought him out of it. And he has a record out right now that dropped on December 17th called Close to You. Okay. Featuring Marcus Allen. Okay. And it's actually a grown man rap song with some R&B flavor. Okay. It's got that 90s feel to it. It's okay. really a good song. Okay. It really is. Okay. So what's the, what's next for, for your artist? What's next for you? Um, I have another artist that I'm working with, G. Okay. King. And uh, we about to drop some fire. Her and I have a, a feature for her called um, Donna Era. Who's really, really? Oh yeah, uh, yeah she's so, dope. Yeah, yeah, I've she heard is. Her. Yeah. She's coming up, but nobody knows about G, and G's gonna bring that fire. <laughs> and so with um, Chubb, back to Chubb, we're about to do the video release for the song, as well as an EP drop. So that's coming up here in the near future, and then we're gonna bring um, G King out. Okay, so the, those dates are not solid yet, or I don't put a, I, and when I get the product in my hand, mm-hmm. actually in my hand, then right. I put the date out. But right. it will be sometime the end of January, beginning of February. So that's the a window they can look into. Do's and don'ts in the industry. <sighs> Some things we need to talk about in do's and don'ts. <laughs> I, I'm guilty sometimes, but uh, down it. I don't really down other people. I, I will speak my mind. Okay, but I wouldn't necessarily say I'm down in it. Like if I see somebody do something wrong for somebody, I'm gonna speak on it right. that way. But that's how they do business. Now the do's and don'ts is that when you record a song, don't go live. Your song is not registered and your song is not copyrighted. So while you're in the studio doing a song, somebody else is recording you and could do whatever. Don't put your lyrics on Facebook if you don't have them copywritten. And there's certain things. So like when you record, my things are the three R's, I call them. Like record, register, no, record, copyright, and register. So it's not even the three R's, but you know, make sure that you, you copyright, register, everything. Make sure everything is done before you even put it out there. Because that way, when you put it out there, if somebody copies your song and does something of your song, you already got it and you get it. So that that's my main thing with artists that they jump out there and they know everything. They jump out there, you know, investigate. If you're not gonna go through me, shoot, Google, do something. Google, go on YouTube, go on something, find out what's you're right. everywhere. So yeah, because the information's out there. And the only reason why I do the round tables because people are too lazy to go get the information, and I did. But then they don't want to pay for it. But if same thing with going to the doctor, if the doctor paid to get his degree, then you got to pay the doctor for his information. Well, I'm the music doctor. You got to pay me for my information. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So any upcoming events that you want to talk about? Um, Just the the um, video release and the music. But um, the upcoming event I do have. Oh, I have my planner right here. I have um, January. I have a round table in Charlotte. That's going to be on the 16th. Okay. And that's going to be in Charlotte. The fly is going to be dropping soon. And then I'm going to have two master classes. I'm switching up and I'm going to do a master class, which consists of having a person that is an expert in that area come in and it'll be a five hour class and it'll be all day like, like you're going to have to put in some work. The round tables, you're getting information. Right. The master class, you're going to put in work. So okay. you're going to be hands on, you're going to be in it. So that's, that's what's coming up. And I have two of those coming up in March. March 2nd, I got one coming for voice lessons. Right, and people that are rappers think they don't need voice, but they do. Okay, everybody needs to do because you gotta learn the breathing process. And then I'm gonna have one, a master class on media training. So you might wanna jump on that one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna be the 16th of March. The 2nd of March is gonna be in Charlotte, and the 16th of March is gonna be in Charleston. Okay, you already had those flies done? No, I don't have flies done. Okay. Actually, the master Just... classes are gonna be private, so okay. they're gonna have to go into the events to find those. And then the flyer for the 16th of February is dropping soon. I just want to let everybody know because everybody always thinks that I'm a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. Diamond Law came about because my birthstone is a diamond. I'm an April baby. And my initials are L-A-W, Lisa Ann Williams. That's dope. Yeah. So when I say Diamond Law is me, it literally is me. So that's how that came about. And somebody else gave me that name. Shout out to Ashley Jacobs. She gave me that name in 1999. And I've been rocking with it ever since. But um, basically, I just want the artists, you know, if you're not going to get information from like Diamond Law Entertainment or, or, you know, Carlos Brown, Granville Bryce, whoever's out there, Diamond Couture, anything like that, 
man, go get the information from somebody. You know, go Google it. Go find it. Go go get it. You know, because this the, the, the music industry will eat you up. It will eat you up and spit you out and won't think nothing of it. We appreciate you coming through, talking and giving some knowledge and hope, you know, these artists come out and, you know, they reach out to you yeah, and, and get and that they, game. They can reach out to me at um, 843-696-3981. You can also get at me through my email, which is D L E E N T eight four three at gmail dot com, and I also have eight four three. Excuse me, D L E eight four three dot com. That's my website. Okay. So all the information is there, or you could just hit me up through my email, whatever. And of course, on Facebook is Diamond Lawed, L A W E N T one word. And you can hit me up that way as well. Okay. So sounds dope. Yeah. We appreciate and your I am, time. I am looking for some artists too. So okay. artists with a budget. Well, thank you for having me and I appreciate it. And shout out again to DME TV. Hey, we appreciate, appreciate you coming and through. I appreciate you. Ain't got no feeling for you fuck niggas I can't be around you nigga, you a hoe Don't ask me for no picture Ain't got no feeling for you fuck niggas If you see him, point him out Knock him dead in the mouth Stump the ass and Ain't got no feeling for you fuck niggas Use a pussy, use a hoe, use a lame I ain't fucking with you nigga Ain't got no feeling for you fuck niggas If you see him, point him out 